Victoria Osuna Perez spent less than 15 of her 52 years on earth in El Paso, but the Chicana artist continues to be celebrated as a local treasure decades after her passing. Marking the 20th anniversary of her death, the El Paso Art Museum is hosting Beyond Portraits, an exhibition in honor of her work and iconic style. One of her signature statements that she makes is the color of her skin. Because even if the original model was white skinned, Gloria painted everybody dark. And because she figured the darkest of us are the ones that get hit on first in a negative sense, you know, that's our beauty. Her paintings capture the humanity of ordinary people and scenes from daily life. I think as an art museum, we need to make sure that we're showing art that reflects the community. We need to show art that people can connect to and see themselves in. Osuna Perez moved to El Paso in the mid-80s and gained claim for her artwork while raising a family there. But just a few years later, she was battling ovarian cancer. It was during this time that the publishers of Cinco Puntos Press asked her to illustrate Little Golden Star, a children's book by John Hayes. said, you know, I'm, I, I have cancer and I don't, I want you to know I have cancer and I might, and right now I'm, it's, it's in a recession, regression, and, um, but I want you to know it because I might not finish it. We thought, you know, she's a wonderful woman. She seems, like I said, very healthy. And we liked her, and we liked her art. Osuna Perez died before finishing the illustrations. Her daughter, the artist Lucia Angel Perez, completed the final scenes. We talk about it somewhere as this folk story within a folk story of passing the uh, baton from one generation to the next. But so importantly is why the mother lays dying, she does this for her daughter. The exhibit will be up at the El Paso Museum of Art until August 7th. Reporting for Border Scene, Victoria Almaguer.